Welcome back to our channel. How are you doing? We are still at home all days and nights. Hmm. Mom has making lots of dishes recently for us to enjoy every single day. Today, for the very first time, Mom made Vietnamese steamed rice rolls. Ban gung. It's served with fried shallots, Vietnamese ham, cucumbers, and bean sprouts. She just bought a hoop set for this traditional steamed rice rolls. That's why she wants to try it right away. <laughs> Traditionally, the rice batter is cooked by spreading a thin layer on top of the cloth that is stretched out over the wa water bath. Then it's covered with a lid and steamed to perfection. See? Mom uses flour for easier and also faster. It says add four cups of water to the flour. It also said it's better to soak the flour for at least four hours before making the cake, so we have to wait. Huh. Now make the fillings while we wait. Soak the ear mushrooms first for 20 minutes. Wash and rinse it later. Mom is afraid of the taste and smells of flour, so she decided to do the same as Ben Bail. She scooped the clear water out after every one hour and poured that much of clean water into the batter. For the pork filling in a large pan, heat up vegetable oil on medium-high heat. Add the onion. Saute until fragrant. Add ground pork and mushroom. Season with chicken powder, sugar, and lots of black peppers. Break up the chunks of the ground pork with a wooden spoon. Continue cooking until pork is cooked all the way through. So mom took out the clear water and poured back in the clean water for three times. The last time before steaming, she added two tablespoons oil to the batter. Remember this, the oil will make it easier to take out later when steamed. This is the steamer with the cloth over the hoops. Mom figured out that the steamer works the best when the water reached almost half of the pot and the clothes need to be wet before steaming the cake. This is a steam rice roll set she uses in the video. Now in the high heat, the steamer is boiling hard. Scoop two thirds scoop of batter into the cloth. Spread it out evenly. This is the first time mom tried this method, so excuse her for the clumsiness. <laughs> Cover with the lid. When you see the batter is clear, it's cooked perfectly around two minutes. Once cooked, Lift it off the steamer with a wooden stick. Be gentle with this, okay? I don't think I could do it like mom. Mm. Once cooked, slide the crepe into a plate. Add the thin layer of the pork mixture and roll it up. Gosh, it looks so good. Repeat until all batter and filling are gone. It takes time, but I know. But at the end, we have a tasty dish that I really want to eat more and more. Do you see how thin it is? So do not try to stuff too much fillings. It will break the thin sheets and of course, it not look good too. Oh gosh, it looks so good. Have you ever wondered how to eat bangung? Place the steamed rice rolls on the plate and top with 
steamed bean sprouts, cucumbers, fresh herbs, and slices of jack. Garnish with fried onions and serve with side of dipping fish sauce. Bangung is a tasty, savory, and wonderful, delightful that you will absolutely love making as mom does. Sorry, not me. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoy your video as we love making this. See you next time. Bye.